What is up guys? Troublesome here, back with another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. How you guys doing? Uh, got a special treat from the mod Stellar. Uh, I got an R34 in Skyline. This sucker is junkyard rough, I'm telling you. Um, I don't know anything about this model, but it's... Uh, I do know a little bit about the car, but not a lot. This is, just FYI, the car that Paul Walker drove in one of the Fast and Furious. It was the second one, I think. Too Fast, Too Furious, maybe. Don't want to sit in it. Anyway, the R34 is, is that car um, that he drove. It's 99, methinks. 99 to 2002. Um, there are two different engines offered in it, and none of them were a V dis uh, a V shaped engine. This has got a supercharged V8 because limited options. Uh, the modder used this one, and I get it. But this uh, car had man, there's not many body panels here. Uh, this car had a couple of different engines. That came in it, and again, I don't know a lot about which one came with which and why, but what I do know is that they were inline sixes and they were twin turbos. There was a 2.6 liter and a 2.8 liter, so we know that. Oh, you know, just a 458 sitting in the back of the shop, no big whoop, no big whoop. That's how I roll. Ooh, that color's I think that color's gonna have to go, kids. Also, I'm gonna have a hard time finding wheels for this thing. I know I am because my options kind of suck. So I'm gonna jump into this. There's definitely gonna be some jump cutting in this video because this freaking car has got it rough. Engine parts missing. All that jazz. So anybody that knows the heritage of the Skyline, uh, Nissan, I don't know when it started. It started back a long time ago, like maybe the 60s. There are several iterations of the Skyline. The uh, the GTR, uh, I do know that. It stands for Gran Turismo Racing. I'm 99% sure of that. So basically it's just... Uh, a re-realized version of the Nissan heritage, I guess. I, I, I don't really know how to put it into words, but this car got super famous after the Fast and Furious dealio where Paul Walker drove one and did little... He had a right-hand drive model, and it was silver with some blue highlights on it, and he did like a little drift race or something, and skidded to the camera now i do know a little bit about that too um vintage tire what the hell paul walker was actually driving that that was not cgi he really did that in that movie where he uh, power slid like he pulled oh crap he pulled the e-brake and skid up to the camera he really did that part he was a big he was a big driving fan um Big fan of driving. Big fan of fast cars too. Ended up being part, partly, uh, you know, responsible for his demise. Is his need for speed? I'm not sure. This stuff is rough, boy. It's rough. And I don't know what's going on with this model up here. And this model actually has what the hell? Normally they don't have this much cloudy whiteness in them. Um, these mods, I mean. This this one has an RC. Let's see if I can show you real quick. Yeah, it's a GTR R34 RC. I don't know what that RC stands for. That is something I'm not familiar with. And I looked around on the internet and couldn't really find anything, but I didn't look for any more than about 28 seconds. 28 long seconds. 
Uh, Playway is starting to boast about the Plymouth DLC coming soon, so I'm looking forward to seeing that. I'm not really super looking forward to seeing that, but I am looking forward to seeing some new cars on here. Um, I really wish they would have done something besides Plymouth. But luckily we got these modders out here making the good stuff we can play with. Pretty much no matter what Playway uh, releases. Well, I'm a little bit confused by all the white cloudy stuff. You might know what that is. Post a comment. Let me know what that means. Um, there's a guy who posted a comment on one of my Beam G Drive videos. And I'm not going to try to pronounce his name because I will butcher it. It was Asian. Uh, and I'm not going to insult the guy by butchering his name. But anyway, he said something along the lines of you need to get uh, you need to share the your channel because people need to know about this channel. <laughs> I was like, "Hey, buddy, I'm all with I'm with you. What's the step? What is the step? What I do typically is I go to what I see, what I feel like are relevant, um, uh, da, 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 relevant um, Facebook pages." Can I not get that drive shaft? Well, I feel relevant Facebook pages, like for the Mazda video, I went and actually went to some Mazda RX-7 enthusiast, enthusiast websites. Uh, I would get some American Trucking Simulator views from going to trucker pages and things like that and sharing the video. Mostly just piss people off. Um, but I'm not really sure. You might have got any suggestions, any, any seasoned YouTubers. Let me know. I tell you what, if you guys watch Diesel... I feel like I'm a promoter of him, but he did a video on a game. Actually, he did another one today, but I haven't had a chance to see it yet. On a game called Wildlands. It's like an open world. It almost looks like a better version of Minecraft, sort of. Um, with actual, it's low poly 3D. Anyway, it looks freaking rad. And it comes out in December 6th, I think. But I'm really, really looking forward to playing that. And it's got multiplayer online stuff. Uh, open world sandbox games are fr they're fun and they may not make for very good YouTube I don't know don't know yet I'm still too green at this uh, to know any better but I know that uh, I'm pretty looking forward to playing that game oh I should have taken that transmission off when I was down there dang it dang it V8 gearbox. Wonder what condition this is in. I'm gonna take a shot and say 18. Oh, 17. That was freaking close. I'm kind of proud of myself. Take it out. Put it on the rack. Oh boy, oh boy, that sucker is rough. Oh my god, that is such a bad looking engine. You know what though, we take what we get. I think I paid like five, eight, five, eight or five thousand, I don't know. Those two numbers are shaped similarly enough that it confuses me when I try to recall. You know, a eight is essentially just a five with another diagonal line connecting corners on it. Don't judge me. It's real. Banners, guys. Banners. I want to do a banner. I don't know how to do it. I'm to blame because I haven't even done a lick of research on banners. Okay. Get these pistons out of here. 37, 22, do, 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 do. now, one more thing about GTRs, I don't know when they started this, I think the R33 was also, had this um, thing going for it, all wheel drive, all wheel drive, so they would hook and shoot, boy, oh, repairable body parts, it's such a beautiful thing, isn't it, 
Let's see what fixed, just for shits and gigs. Yeah. Well, I know that. I know, because I didn't know. I didn't even have a hood. This thing looks like it's full race. I wonder if RC stands for race car. Man, this thing is missing some shit now, boy. Well, you know, I guess that's something. Right side mirror. I don't care about taillights. I'm going to have to buy them anyway. Ooh, 6%. Oh, my. <laughs> Ooh, boy, let's go shopping. Okay, R34. I don't... Oh, shoot. I don't remember if it was a hyphenated R. Um, bet it wasn't. I bet it was just... How about we just do Skyline? That should cover it. There we go. Front bumper. Okay, don't have options here, but I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. Um, left door wasn't present. No glass. I don't remember which fender I had. Somebody text me. Don't text me. I'm just kidding. Send me a text. Let me know which door I had. Gosh dang it. Or fender, I mean. Damn it, I'll just buy both of them. Ugh. Uh, rear bumper. Rear glass. Maybe this thing will look better once these body parts are on it. Because it's looking kind of, uh, kind of sketchy there. Right side mirror I've got. Looking a little bit sketchy on the uh, on the lift with all these body parts missing and all that extra filler panels. Okay. All right. Glass. Glass. Oh, son of a biscuit. Shield, fender. I got an extra fender, and I'm missing the freaking mirror over here. Ain't that the Dickens? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Okay, that is looking better, I think. Don't you think? I think it's looking better. Yeah, that's looking much more GTR-esque. GTR-esque. Uh, I'm not sure what I got for interiors on me. Let's just take a look. See, Dang it. Finicky. I don't like these seats, but you know what? Let's just do it since I've already got them. Going for maximum profitability here. Oh yeah, those are awful. Those are so awful. Uh, that's not a terrible GTR steering wheel, I guess. Whoops. Okay. All right. All right, now let's go do suspension. So it's been even though I'm pretty sure this thing's not all-wheel drive like the real dealio is. Oh man, that stinking fuel tank. Is there any other sneakers? Sneaky sneaks up here? Rear muffler V8. Okay, so I'm not going to do performance. Well, I might on the engine, but I'm not going to get carried away down here doing performance parts on these. It's not all-wheel drive. I've said this before, I'm not real thrilled with the driving physics on this game, so it's not like I've got a... It's not like I'm married to the, uh... 
it's not like I'm just married to being able to drive these things or anything like that. And there may be a point in time where I get into racing on the track and like running times and stuff where I care about it, but I don't think I'm really going to care about that until they do something either with the handling or the driving physics. I mean, they're not horrible, but they're not great, and I have to do it on a keyboard, which I suck at anyway. Oh man, times like this is when all these ridiculous surplus parts come in handy. Because I know for a fact that I get carried away buying them. But this is why I do it. I can just burn through this assembly. It's freaking awesome. Okay, the rear end is looking pretty together minus this bushing. Pretty, pretty, pretty together. Let's see. Looks like I got those plates on. I need to put this fuel pump in. All right, that actually went surprisingly well. Um, yeah, I would like to get a couple more exhaust pieces put on here. I don't know if there's a middle muffler or not. Looks like there is. Looks like I have it, which is good. It's good. Ooh, man, that... That was tough. Tough to get to that one. Large intercooler. Large marge. Oh my god, we're cooking with bacon grease. Boy, we're cooking with bacon grease. Throwing this shit together. Mm, man, that white. I really hate it. I really hate it. I wish I knew what did that. It's gonna be hard to jump over to that other side. Ain't it? Ain't it? Ain't it? Ain't it? It's gonna be hard to get over there. Oh, okay. Whew. So, what I'm thinking about doing, guys, is I'm thinking about looking into. Uh oh. Oh, I thought my mouse just crapped out. Thinking about looking into modding because I want to make a car that nobody seems to want to make. And I know it used to be made, but it's not here anymore and I really want it. So I'm thinking about trying it out. Uh, I don't know if I need some... If I need special software that costs money, I definitely won't do it. Because I have no idea whether or not I'm even capable of it. And I'm way too cheap to spend money on it. So my thought is... Um, I want to make a Countach. I love Lamborghini Countach. And there used to be one, and then the game got updated, and then the guy removed his model, I guess, that did it. And I'm not even sure who it was. But I guess the model got removed because it didn't work with one of the new updates, and then it never got fixed and re-uploaded. That's, that's my understanding of it, which is probably way wrong. But um, I want it, man. I want it, I want it, I want it. Front exhaust pipe V8C. T 
two of these. Two of those. I wish words could express the level of regret that I have for click starting for going into the back to get these front exhaust pipes because of all that jumping around I got to do. All right. So agonizing, agonizing process, wheels and tires. Not going to make you guys suffer through this. So I will be back. Okay, guys, this is the wheel I went with right here. What with a 21? Now, watch this and please explain this to me in the comments. See how my options are gone? I can scroll through with left and right, but I can't see them. What, what's wrong? What, what happened? Can somebody please explain that to me? Is it a glitch in the game? Is everybody having that problem? Did I do something with mods that screwed it up? What is the dilly yo? Please help a brother out. Help a brother out. I'm not thrilled with the wheel selection, but I say that every time, and it's like beating a dead horse. I'm not going to get anywhere from it. However, I think this one's actually pretty good for this car. I do think that's pretty good for this car. Now, something that's kind of funny is if you go here and go to the rim shop, this one, it's on the picture, is perfect for this car. Although it doesn't exist in the rim shop. So that's a nice little travesty. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm trying to figure out why this thing had vintage tires on it. It really doesn't make any sense to me. I actually kind of like the way this one looks. I want 265 width and a 25% uh, height. Oops. And I think it looks pretty good. It's an all-wheel drive car, so I don't really want to go with bigger in the back. Yeah, I think it looks good. Already got the value up to 38.8 and haven't put that supercharged engine in there. This thing's going to be worth some moolah, boys. Oh, GTR color. It's typical GTR color. The traditional GTR color is blue. Paul Walker's was silver. Um... I'm kind of digging that right there, guys. Kind of digging it. Yeah, I think that looks fantabulous. It's not what I meant to do. Now, minus the hoopty seats that are in there, it still looks pretty freaking good. Yeah, that looks nice. I love it. This is going to be interesting because I don't know how far I'm going to get here. That's not a good start. Just do as much as I can. Without the crank, which isn't much. Looks like I'm done. Crankshaft V8. Crank. 
crank, crangy, crank, cring, crankshaft, V8. Clutch plates for days, boy. Clutch plates for days. Darling, you look perfect tonight. Oh, that one. Oh, man. Look at that. Oh, man. I'm going to go with performance pistons, I guess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh man, I got this sneaking suspicion that I'm not going to have a lot of these parts, and it's going to drive me nuts. Looks like I got that. I got a sneaking suspicion, though, that the supercharger I'm not going to have. I'm not going to have the freaking uh, manifold for the supercharger. The heads are probably shot. Anybody ever hone cylinders? If you have hone cylinders, cylinder walls, I mean. Um, for those of you who don't know. Anyway, if you have hone cylinders, post a comment. Let me know how you uh, did it. If you used one of those things with the three little grinder shoes on it, or if you used the, the ball hone, the old bottle hone. Um, for the people that aren't very experienced with engines... There's, um, whenever you change the pistons out and you put new rings in it, the inside of the cylinder walls have essentially been getting polished for as long as the engine's been running with the rings of the old pistons. So it's like this super slick, mirror glossy slickness on the inside of these. What I'm talking about cylinder walls is where these ride. Um... And you want the new piston rings to kind of match up with the wall of the cylinder. So in order to do that, you hone the cylinder, which is kind of like sanding it with this grinding thing on a drill or on some spinning tool. Just smooth it here, I'm gonna actually show you. With that, how do I get rid of that head outline? Okay, this wall right here is super slick whenever you take the old pistons out. So you, you want to scuff it up, basically. That way the new piston rings, whenever this piston's cycling up and down, it can kind of conform to the shape of it so they're all happy in the, and it makes good um, compression. Because when that piston goes up, it has to make compression. It has to make pressure. Uh, so... You, you hone them, and you can use this thing with these three little grind... Shit, that cam gear is always a problem. These three little grindy doos. Oh, how do I explain what those look like? It just looks like a little freaking shoe that's like an abrasive grindy thing. Anyway, put that in there, and you, you go up and down with the drill or whatever tool you're using. I knew it. I didn't have that freaking intake manifold. And that scores it. But the thing with that is you have to be careful about your in and out movement because you don't want to um, groove the cylinder wall because you don't have like distribution. So when you use that bottle hone, it really looks like, look, Google a bottle hone because they're funny. And once I learned how to, son of a, I don't want to put that in there. Whenever they're, uh, they look crazy, but whenever you use them, oh, 88% spark plugs. Whenever you use the bottle hones, um, it's kind of a random, it's just a bunch of little grinding balls on a, 
on a wire stem. I don't know how to explain it. Google it. Look it up. You'll be like, oh. Anyway, it's a lot more random, so it's a lot less likely for you to just jack up the cylinder walls. I don't know. Supposedly, you don't get as good of a seat. It's more of a rookie thing. People, rookies use bottle homes. Guess what I use? I use a bottle home because I am definitely not a pro. Uh, but it worked. I put cylinder, you know, I put some cylinders or some pistons in with new rings and stuff, and it worked. Okay, guys, I jumped ahead a little bit here. Got a. I had to go pick up my daughter from the library. So I just went ahead and did a little bit of a. Extra assembling here. Made some poitices, bought some points, some points, points, parts. So, you know, no big whoop. Damn it, I knew I was going to do that. No, 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 no. I was talking about ball hones earlier. I remember that. I don't know if I ever finished or not. If I didn't, Google it. I'm going to put on that performance one here just because I got it. What the hell? Why not? You know? Why not? I think this is the last mother effing part. I think that's it. We get the burn back here. I got the burn. Ooh, doggy. All right. Let's show this in. We're going to see what it makes, just for the hell of it. We're going to see what it makes. Yeah, that's a good-looking unit. Good-looking unit. That right, Hudson? You know. You know what a good-looking unit it is. I wonder what that did to the value. Holy cow. You idiot. <laughs> Uh, you see that? I'm oh, stupid. I'm stupid. Okay. <clears throat> yes. Yes. Come on now. Come on. Big money, big money. I'm not sure where the bat tree is here. I don't see a bat tree. Anybody see a bat tree? No, and there's no air filter box either. Huh. It's contrary. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I'm just, just want to make sure I'm doing everything right. Okay, that is a pretty built engine. Pretty well built. Pretty well built. Okay. Gearbox? Oh, man. Oh, my God. Not even doing it. I'm not doing it. Gearbox. V8. Shot. 2%. Good night. Oh, man. My mouse is getting ready to crap out. It is happening. I keep losing it. I don't know if it's just batteries or if it's just on the on the brink of death. It is a mega cheap mouse. Like so cheap I'm embarrassed to say how much it costs. But it gets the job done. It does the job and it's ergonomically it's pretty comfy. You know? I ordered it from China though, it's so it's it's cheap. I waited a month for it. Because it's cheap. Okay. Here we go. Gotta get that freaking drive shaft. It's such a tricky, tricky, tricky thing. Okay. Oh man, I can taste it. Can you taste it? I can taste it. I'm almost done. Them tiny little bolts up there. Okay. <clears throat> what are we forgetting? What did what did old Daddy O forget? 9992 89 oh i put a bad spark plug in it crap ola it's going to stay battery it does want a battery 
Or does it? I don't know where it goes. Rear shock absorber cap. Okay. And license plates. Well, I can do some of that. And I can do that. And I can do that. I'll get underneath here and find that spring cap. I, I think I know what it's talking about. I just... What? I think I know what it's talking about. I just didn't know that I forgot it. There it is. Right there. Right there. Oh my god. You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me, Smalls. Alright guys, my dog just ate, and he's in here rubbing up against my bed now. Now he's shaking his head. He's so polite. Okay, that's that. Now the battery, I'm not sure about this battery situation. Not too sure where it goes. Is it in the trunk, maybe? It is in the trunk. Don't have the battery. We're gonna wait. You're gonna wait with me. We're gonna sit here and suffer. Well, this one charges, so we have a spare on us. Hey, didn't that used to have glass in it? Or is that always open? Predator. Oh, 13% charges still. Okay, battery in the trunk. Battery in the trunk. I like how they did the fuel uh, the fuel tank like that, kind of like it is a fuel cell. That's kind of rad. Okay, now where are we at? Now we're at 79. I don't know why it's upset about these radiator fan parts. Don't get it. That one spark plug. That's okay. That's right. Just for, just for giggles, because I put random performance parts on here, I'm going to see how much power... The old GTR R34 makes <clears throat> with an engine that's not accurate. This engine makes four, 584 out of the box, 682, 16% gain. That's not bad. I don't know what the real the real GTR made. Well, I'll take it. I will take it. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for today. appreciate you hanging out with me. If you like this video, hit that like button, will you? If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I drop new videos daily. Uh, and I try to educate. So um, that's a stark contrast right there, isn't it? Wow. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I'm going <laughs> to wrap it up. I get interrupted so many times shooting these. My daughter's in there griping about the cat claw on her. <laughs> Oh, God, I don't even know where I was. Join me tomorrow, guys. We'll do it again. We'll do it again. We'll have some fun, build some cars. Sounds like a good time. And now I'm going to make some cash. We'll see you guys later.